this is a case of a nasal pingecula, I first take a stitch at the opposite limbus in order to see the entire extent of the pingecula, intralesional anesthesia to delineate the entire lesion. After removing the pingecula, I use a wax cell sponge with epinephrine for hemostasis as well as uh, subconjunctival cleavage. Remember to get to the roots of this lesion and remove the entire mass. Smoothen the limbus with a 64 blade along with the adjoining sclera. Be very meticulous here and take your time. Remove all the slivers of subconjunctival tissue and any pingecular remnant from the sclera as well as smoothen the limbus to your full satisfaction. Accept the amniotic graft epithelial side up. Using the tire tool technique that I've described before, holding the conjunctiva with two forceps, guide the amniotic membrane atraumatically so it slips under the, under the conjunctiva and over the sclera. Squeegee it in two movements using the first component of the TCL glue in a very controlled, minimal fashion. Sweep in one direction and then in the other so the graft is nicely adherent to the sclera as well as sweeping all the way under the conjunctiva. Second component of the TCL glue, again in a very controlled minimal fashion, and sweep it out to an even distribution with pressure on the sclera. Remove excessive glue from the conjunctiva and from the fornices. Using the same blade, trim the amniotic membrane exactly at the corneoscleral limbus for a great aesthetic appearance as well as ability to literally wear a contact lens next day. Using this uh, two vexel technique, squeegee the graft down to the sclera as well as get a good physical feel for how well the graft has adhered to the sclera. We haven't had a single case of slippage uh, following this technique. Again, take your time. So this is the immediate post-op appearance. Clear cornea, smooth corneoscleral limbus, completely clear sclera. Remove the fixation suture. High magnification image. Antibiotic steroid drops.